every time I see Jodie Foster in anything, I am first of all reminded of how lucky I am to have worked with her, which I did in 2010. We did a film together. And she was really the reason why, or she was the reason I realized it was possible to become an actress. I remember seeing her as a child performer herself and thinking, oh, that's a thing that can actually happen. And there's someone who's already doing it. And she has been my inspiration all my life and I love her. She's so much fun, she's great, she's no fuss. She's great, I love her. To share that with her? Yeah, I told her, I tell her all the time. I tell her all the time and she gets embarrassed and goes red and she's like, yeah. And as a, as a performer and as a producer, if I'm able to take part in something that conveys some degree of a message to people or might make them think in a different way or might even open up a conversation that perhaps they had never been brave enough to have and that is the power of film and sometimes that can happen and that was another reason why this film felt so important to me because Lee already 80 years ago was redefining femininity to mean resilience and courage and compassion and everything that we all are living our lives by right now today and that's why I feel like her story is so incredibly important. Um, you know, voting season is my season. <laughs> it is. This is my time. I love this time of year. I think it's really important. Um, I do have um, a tra tradition of sitting with my husband and going through all of the ballots, um, all of the uh, initiatives, and I think. I think the traditions are growing in our home, you know, as we teach our kids more and more about the importance of democracy. Okay, I could do a little more living before I Okay. So how is that going? What are you going to? What I said was that I think today it would be tough for a show to have to be a success. What do I, what do I say? I think in today's landscape it would have been tough for Scandal to be a success because it took us a long time for audiences to discover us. And I don't know that shows today get that kind of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you how you know, you've seen that progress happen, but no, this actually yeah, changes. There, the there is a lot of progress in the business. Obviously, you know, we have a show on Hulu that I'm really proud of as a producer and director, Reasonable Doubt, and that show is having extraordinary success, and I'm so proud of that show and so thrilled for that show. But I do know that it took Scandal a long time for audiences to discover us and see us and for us to get off the bubble. And I just, it makes me sad that today a lot of shows don't get that time. I love this dress. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank I love you. it. Someone that comes to mind immediately is Patricia Arquette as well. Obviously, I, I worked with her on the act, and I obviously was like obsessed with her, as everyone else is. She became a really great friend and someone that I feel so comfortable calling if I have questions or concerns about anything. And her leadership was something that I think is so exemplary, um, and I love her. The further you're out, the further I can like, zoom in. Oh my goodness, it, it really does mean everything. Not even realizing that we have platforms, not even realizing that um, you can make a difference, you can change somebody. We're already so sort of responsible with our words when it comes to our art. You know, it can also be that for a political platform. You know, and I think not enough people ever know what's really going on. And if people are trusting artists more than politicians or even the news, then, you know, that's a healthy conversation that needs to be had. There's 330 million people in this country. That's insane. You ever been to dinner with 30 people? It's impossible. It's very hard. So, yeah, you got to create a safe space and start the conversation. So I love that, like... Mark Anthony, Sarah Jessica Parker, and others are using their platform for good because we can't go back. We can only move forward. I'm too cute to have Trump be president. Hey, Jane. Jane, how are you? She looks good.